In the previous video of this series, we configured Spring Cloud Gateway with an external readies and a retry. In this video, we continue with the configuration of the Spring Cloud Gateway. If the Spring Resource Server is offline, we first do a few retries, and if all the retries fail, we use a request to a fallback endpoint. As in one of the previous videos, we first do a test in a browser window. The first test is with the Spring Resource Server online. After the successful test, we do a test with the Resource Server offline. Before we move on to the test, I want to mention that we have upgraded the version of Spring Boot Starter to version 3.1.1. This immediately means that the version of Spring Authorization Server is now version 1.1.1. You can see this in the Maven dependencies list. Also the Spring Resource Server is now Spring Boot Starter version 3.1.1 and the Spring OAuth Client Spring Cloud Gateway is Spring Boot Starter version 3.1.1. We can now launch and test the three projects in a browser window. The first test is with all projects online. We open 127.0.0.1 Port 8080 User In a browser window First, we need to log into the custom login form of the Spring Authorization Server. After a successful login, we get the expected result from the Spring Resource Server. For the second test, we stop the Spring Resource Server. Now when we resend the request, we see in the Eclipse console that the Spring Cloud Gateway makes 30 requests to the Spring Resource Server. After all the failed requests, we get the text of a fallback endpoint. We can now go to the code in Eclipse to show how to configure this. We're back in Eclipse to look at the Spring Cloud Gateway code. We start in the POM XML file where we have a new dependency. Spring Cloud Starter Circuit Breaker Reactor Resilience 4J In the application YAML file is where all the configuration happens. First we go over the Resilience 4J configuration. We have a Circuit Breaker instances with some settings that you can customize to your needs. More info can be found on the Resilience 4J website. The link can be found in the description of this video. A second setting is the configuration of the time limiter. Here we set it to 20 seconds. Now we build everything into a filter of the router. First the filter of the circuit breaker with the fallback URL. Then the filter for the retry. We configure here 30 retries with the back off time. The last thing we need to go over is the fallback endpoint in the Spring Cloud Gateway. In this example it is a simple endpoint that returns the text fallback. It is of course possible to program more complex logic here. That's it for this video. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.